Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I'm here to talk about pajamas. <laughs> so as we are in the month of December, I know that pajama making is something that a lot of people love to do right now. Um, not only for themselves, but also for family members. It's a great gift to give, but also fun to have, you know, everyone in matching pajamas. You know, that's a whole big thing. Um, and I actually have some pajama and uh, loungewear nightwear th um, projects planned that I wanted to talk to you um, today about, but also kind of highlight a few other patterns that I have made before in the past that might be good if you were still looking for something to try out for your own family. Okay, so all of my projects, with the exception of one here, are for my kids, actually. <laughs> um, there's only one here that's for me, um, and I've shown it a couple of times, both in the vlog. I don't think I've no, I did. I showed it also in the um, another form of video, but we'll just go ahead and, and touch on this real quick. So the first thing that I'm going to plan on making, and I think this would be a fantastic um, uh, gift as well to give, and that is the um, Compose, Ro Compose Robe by Love Notions Patterns. It's one of their newest patterns. Um, you can be made with a knit or a woven, which is really cool, and it comes with a hood option and or the nice big shawl collar. I'm going to be making mine in this beautiful sweater knit in this rust color from Stylemaker Fabrics. It's beautiful. Um, and it's like a drapier, lighter weight knit, which is what I wanted because I wanted these to be able to um, pack. You know, we go back home to see family, uh, well, more frequently before COVID, but <laughs> we'll go back frequently again. Um, anyway, and we're staying at other people's houses, so I need pajamas and robes and stuff that can very easily be worn you know, around my brother-in-law, around my dad, you know, stuff like that, my father-in-law, that kind of thing. So um, I want stuff that was easily be easy to pack. And so I picked this heathered rust colored one because it goes with my um, Pine Cove PJs that I just made from Itch to Stitch. I'll pop a picture of me wearing those right here. Pop a picture of me in the pajamas um, and also a link to the video where I talk about the Pine Cove PJs. Um, but yes, I'm going to be using this to make a robe to go with that and I'm um, going to be using the Compose robe um, pattern. Now another uh, uh, robe pattern that I have used before and have made and love is the Suki robe by Helen's Closet. That's another really great pattern um, that I highly recommend. My summer robe is made from that pattern um, and I it's in a hand dyed um, cotton gauze that I made but it's great for, for summer. So this will be my cold weather robe. But yes, I do I highly recommend that Suki robe as well. It's a really great pattern, and um, the instructions and stuff are also really great on that too. I've not made the compose yet, but I all of Notion's patterns I find to be very easy to follow instructions. Um, I can usually get a good fit on all of them. I think there's a full bust option for this robe as well, the compose. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of different options, and very size inclusive. Also, Helen's Closet pat patterns are also very size inclusive as well. All right, now let's move on to my kids. So speaking of the Pine Cove PJs, my daughter um, really wanted a new pair of flannel pajamas and um, she wanted pants because um, I have a couple nightgowns or quite a few nightgowns I've made for her and um, she just wanted pants for the winter because she gets cold up in her room. And she specifically asked for flannel. So we went again to Stylemaker Fabrics and I bought a whole bunch of this gorgeous, I think this is one of the mammoth plaids, the Robert, is it Robert Kaufman mammoth plaids? I could be wrong on that. Anyway, it came from Stylemaker Fabrics. It's a nice, um, a beefier weight flannel, but in this gorgeous print. So you've got some of this like um, mustard color, this baby blue, a little pink, and then the navy. And I just thought this was so good. So I'm going to be making, um, and I was going to make just a pair of, you know, button down the front pajamas, um, but then she saw my Pine Cove PJs and she wants a pair. So I'm going to be making hers with um, this fabric. And, oh, hold on. I forgot a trim. Hold okay, on. Okay, so the Pine, Co Pine Cove PJs um, have the tie both on the inside and on the outside. And this fabric, I did it with self fabric when I made mine, but mine was a... Um, crinkle uh, cotton shirting. Uh, this obviously is a flannel that's much thicker. I think it's going to be too thick for, I mean, it definitely will be too thick. It'll be very um, uncomfortable to have those uh, self-fabric ties, I think, to be laying on them. So I'm going to use twill tape and um, Stylemaker Fabrics. This color goes really great with it. Um, also has a ton of different colors of cotton twill tape. So I bought some for um, the ties for my daughters 
and then I'm going to be using the same fabric to make my son a pair of Thread Theory Eastwood pajama pants. Um, he okayed those. Um, and they've got a drawstring, so this is also going to be the drawstring for his um, Eastwood pajamas, or um, pajama pants. So that's why I have so much of this fabric. So I've got enough to make her uh, Pine Cove set, and then also enough to make him a pair of pants, too. I think I have four, five yards? I may have five yards of this. Um, because the Pine Cove PJs take up a sizable amount. Um, anyway, that's going to be their matching pajama set. And then for my son's top, I think, let's see, I'm going to be using this navy blue um, cotton spandex, also from Style Makers. I'll link all the fabric below if you're interested. Um, but this also goes, let me set my trims down here. This also goes super well um, together, but I'm going to make him a t-shirt that matches. And I actually haven't picked a t-shirt pattern yet. So um, you'll have to, I mean, does anyone have a favorite men's t-shirt pattern that they just really love? Um, let me know down in the comments below. I just haven't picked one for him yet. Um, but yeah, just a, a plain old t-shirt to go with those, something comfortable. Um, I think probably long sleeve, maybe short sleeve. I'll have to ask him what she prefers, which, you know, t-shirt pattern, you can make it whatever you want. But yeah, if you guys have a men's t-shirt pattern that you really love, let me know. Um, I'm open to whatever that I could use for that. So that is the next set of PJs. And then, when I was part of the style... I bought all this from Style Makers, clearly. When I was part of the Style Maker um, Fall Fabric Style, um, their fabric tour back mm, in September, I guess it was. Was that like the beginning of September? And um, I made a look with some of their new fabrics, and one of the things was the Parker Coat by Style Art Patterns. And um, it was in, it's camel, and it's in like a camel sweatshirting. My son felt that. He's so tactile. He, um, we were, he was in here and he felt the inside of that and was like, oh my gosh, this is so soft. He goes, will you make me something out of this? He's like, not this color, but something, do they have like other colors? I said, oh, they do actually. Um, at the time, I think they had the camel, they had a chocolate brown and then a gray and a black. And they all sold out super quickly. But then she got some more back in. And so when she did, I quickly grabbed up the charcoal gray for him. And, um, gosh, I think I bought three yards, I think. Maybe just two? I can't remember. Anyway, it's so super soft. If she still has some, I will link it down below. Um, and then also, she has a whole bunch of cording in different colors as well. So I bought this to be the drawstring. He needs a drawstring around his waist, in addition to elastic, <laughs> for the drawstring of the Hudson pants. So I'm going to make him a pair of Hudson pants by True Bias. Um, this pattern comes, you can buy the men's pattern, a woman's pattern, or a kid's pattern uh, for this one. And I've made this one a few times. He's got a couple of pairs of these already. He's just outgrown them. He's got a lot taller since last year and he would like a new pair. Um, he loves the cuffed uh, sweatpant look and um, finds them very comfortable and he sleeps in the other two pairs that I've made for him quite often but again they're just getting really short so um, he's asked for a new pair. So I've got the uh, cording that I'm going to be using for the drawstring and then um, we'll be making Hudson pants out of this and then he wants just a sweatshirt out of this as well. Um, and I haven't decided what pattern I'm going to use for that either. So if you have a good sweatshirt, men's sweatshirt, something that's not like overly, something with a little style to it, I guess, you know, like nothing that's just, maybe that has some nice fitting or, um, I mean, maybe a hood. I might have enough to do a hood, like a hooded sweatshirt. I don't know what he would want. If you would want a hooded sweatshirt or just a plain sweatshirt. Anyway, let me know if you have a good men's pattern for a sweatshirt that you really like and find really um, attractive, you know, for a young, a young man, <laughs> um, a 14 year old. So yeah, let me know if there's one that you really enjoy, really like, because um, I just, I don't sew a ton of men's clothes. I do sew some. Uh, and I do love thread theory, but yeah, what else is out there for men's clothing that's like really good? Like what other patterns have really good? I know Love Notions has a few, um, but what are some other good pattern companies that carry really good men's patterns? Let me know down below. I think I, I might be expanding into that a little bit more as we go along. 
Okay, so that's what I'm going to be making my family, but I also wanted to talk about a few other patterns that I've made that I um, really, really like. So in um, addition to with the, the pajamas that I'm making for my daughter, um, I was originally going to make her the Carolyn pajamas by Closet Core Patterns. I've made that. I've made a long... Have I made the long pair? Maybe I haven't made a long pair. I've made a short pair for myself. I've made myself the button-up shirt and the shorts. And then I've made myself a long sleeve shirt to wear as an actual blouse um, from that pattern. I don't think I've made the, the pants, which are just the length, the shorts lengthened. Love that pattern though. The instructions on that are just impeccable. It's just a really, really nice pair of pajamas. And I think, and I played around with this, lengthening the shirt pattern to make it into a nightgown. I think that would be so cute for the summer. And I think I'm gonna do that for myself, um, especially in the summertime, I think making that a short sleeve, um, making the short sleeve top, but then lengthening the um, top to make it into a sleep shirt as opposed to just like a shirt to be worn with pants, so more like a nightgown, I think that would be a lot of fun. So you have a lot of options that you can get, real, real big bang for your buck on that pajama pattern, and again, the instructions are impeccable. Um, also, Love Notions Patterns has the Namaste PJ set, which is really good, and it's got pants, shorts, a t-shirt, and then a nightgown. I've only ever made the nightgown from um, this one, but I've made it for, because they've got a little girl's pattern that also coordinates with the adult pattern, um, and I own both of them because I've made it for, last year I made it for myself, my daughter, my niece, my sister, and my mom, and we all had matching pajamas, and then I've made a second um, of that one for my daughter. So she has two of those Namaste um, uh, nightgowns and loves them. She's worn them um, um, in fact, those are the two winter nightgowns that she currently has right now and warm actually all the way through the summer because she gets cold in her room with the air conditioner. Um, <laughs> she's just always cold. But um, anyway, that is a fantastic pattern. Another big bang for your buck and it's just a very attractive PJ set. Um, also, if you are in the Southern Hemisphere or just live in a place where you um, don't need warm pajamas or if you just run extra hot at night, <laughs> Love Notions also has the Luna loungewear set that is um, a tank um, nightgown or it's also a tank top and I think it also comes with um, pants and shorts as well. I own that one. I've not made it up as yet. Um, it also comes with a built-in bra so if you want to, if you're more comfortable sleeping with a built-in bra, if you're a little bustier like myself, um, that's, there's that option as well. And again, I do own that one and I do plan on making myself some summer nightgowns because my current summer nightgowns are, have seen their last day. They're going to be ready to be out of here next year. So, um, when I start wearing summer night, summer pajamas again. So yeah, those are going to have to go. And so this Luna loungewear is going to step in. So if you do live in an area where you need warmer weather pajamas, or again, if you just run extra hot at night <laughs> and want a cooler pajama set, that's also a really good one. And I know that there's a ton of, of good pajama patterns that are out there, um, but those are just kind of some of the top ones, you know, Tilly and the buttons. I mean, there's a lot of them that have some really cute little like cami, um, top and short sets um, for pajamas. But those are the ones that I've uh, worked with most recently and that I've really loved and wanted to pass on. And ones that are, and the Carolyn pajamas aren't very quick. They're a little bit more in, involved, so. Um, but the rest of them are all are all pretty quick patterns to make up. So um, if you're running short on time and needing to make those Christmas gifts, I think they're ones that you could definitely um, have to take a look at and um, have made up by Christmas time. So there you have it. Those are my plans for sewing loungewear, pajama wear <laughs> between now and Christmas. Uh, some of it may not make it until after uh, Christmas, but definitely uh, here in the near future. And I will definitely show you all exactly what I've made on my sweet little models <laughs> that, um, yeah, that uh, reluctantly model for their mom so that people, you guys can see what the stuff looks like that I make for them. So there you have it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this one. It gives you some ideas for some uh, sleepwear sewing to do for this uh, upcoming weeks and uh, definitely maybe even this weekend. I hope you guys get a lot of sewing in this weekend. That is my hope for everyone, that you can um, be free of the craziness that is the holiday season and really sit down and enjoy it and get some sewing in this weekend.
All right, I'll be back on Sunday with a tutorial, um, which is actually kind of, I'm gonna be showing you actually my cutting station and my pressing station. Uh, I get a lot of questions about that and how we create, by we, I mean my husband, he really actually kind of created them, but how we did that. <laughs> because they are, uh, well, the cutting table especially is a Ikea uh, Frankenstein monster that we <laughs> put together and then um, did some uh, work to an Ikea piece for my pressing station too. So that'll be on Sunday. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time.